Hey guys, welcome to our sixth lesson of our certification training for the exam MO300, so Microsoft Office Specialist PowerPoint Associate 2019 certification, and in today's lesson we will revise how to present our slideshows, so objective 1.4.5 present slideshows by using presenter view. I think you probably know most of the things we will talk about today, but stay tuned because I will show you a few tips and tricks here and there. So firstly we go to the slideshow tab and under the start slideshow category we have a few options here from beginning, from current slide and as you can see when we hover over these options as everything as every button in PowerPoint we see more information but in particular over these we have a few keyboard shortcuts so to start slideshow from the current slide we can use the shift F5 shortcut so I do that right now and as you can see we have started from the current slide and to start from the beginning we can use the F5 uh -huh. Perfect, so let's click escape and yeah, let's start from the beginning. So how to navigate in the present review? You have the arrows here, you can of course use the arrows on your keyboard, so to advance slides you can use the right arrow, you can also use the space bar, you can use the enter key and to go backwards besides the left arrow you can also use the backspace key okay so that's pretty intuitive then you have a few options for example for the laser for drawings so you can see I have here pen I can switch the colors I can erase just a certain stroke or I can erase everything that is on the slide every every drawing that is on the slide I will for demonstration purposes oh and we have also the highlighter for the demonstration purposes I will just put there some more pen and as you can see when we want to escape the presentation the PowerPoint asks us whether we want to keep the ink annotations so we can keep or discard it let's keep it and the thing is that PowerPoint inserts it as an editable shape into your presentation so now for example you can do a few things here and there but let's just remove it like that Let's return to our presentation by pressing F5. Perfect. Then when you have an extensive presentation you can use this all slides view to quickly navigate between slides. So for example you can see the slide 91 apply transitions and animations and when I escape and start from the beginning there's another option so to go back to the slide 91 I can just tap the I can just type the number into the keyboard and please and and press enter so I type 91 enter and you can see that we are back on the slide I can press 24 enter and now we are at our today's lesson slide okay also when there's for example a break during your event you might black out the screen so you can press B on the keyboard and B again to show the presentation my personal favorite is to use the W to make it white like that you can also click on the magnifying glass to zoom in to a particular portion of your slide you can click escape to go back and an interesting function in PowerPoint is that you have now subtitles available so as you can see everything I'm saying the PowerPoint is transcribing in the real time 
and there are a few more options here so when we click the three dots or the right click you can see that there are subtitle settings and I can move it for example to the top like that and when I escape the presentation there are more settings so slideshow, subtitle captions and subtitles I might choose to always use subtitles but the thing is that you can that this option is available in a few languages so you have here for example Chinese, English, German, French so on and you can also PowerPoint can also translate what you are saying and put it as a subtitle into various languages so this would be then computer-based translation so as you probably know there are some reservations to this but as I have tried it out it's pretty accurate now let's view let's take a look at the presenter view but for me to work for me to be able to show you the presenter view I have to switch the primary monitor so I make this monitor like secondary and use the presenter view from the beginning and as you can see now we have the presenter view so we have our speaker duration let's say time here we, ca we have our current time here we have all the options I have mentioned we can view our notes, we can view the next slide so the options are essentially the same just it's, uh, it's in a more speaker uh, speaker centric way we can for example swap the presenter view and the slideshow so I, now I have to go to the other display and swap it again and as you can see it works pretty well so that's everything about that's everything about presenting your slideshows by using either the normal view or the presenter view. I hope you find this lesson valuable. If so, please smash that like button. It helps the channel. Please subscribe for more content and I see you in the next time. Bye.